to another episode of Kids Church Online. So, when is this quarantine gonna end? We don't know, but what we do know is that God is in control and there is power in prayer. So join me as we pray. Lord, we don't know when all of this will end, but we will continue to trust in you. We pray that in this troubling season, our eyes will be open to see your glory. Lord, protect our frontliners, protect our families, and in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Today is a brand new month. Wow, time goes by so fast. For this month, we have a new series and it's called Wonder Woman 2. Because we're celebrating Mother's Day next week, our series for the month of May will be focusing on all the strong, influential, amazing women in the Bible. I know a strong, influential, and amazing woman. I call her Mom. And for this week's lesson, we are going to talk about Lois. As we will learn later, Lois was pretty good at passing the message of Jesus Christ. That is why I I'm challenging you guys to do the same. It's simple. Record a video of yourself telling everyone who Jesus Christ is and what He has done for you. Send it to three people. It could be a friend, a classmate, or a relative. Oh, and don't forget to send it to us. You can ask help from your parents to send it to this email. Feel free to be creative. You can put transitions you can put effects, you can dance, or even use props. We will pick three videos to be featured on our next episode. We're excited to see what you guys can come up with for our challenge. But for now, let's watch the video of our lesson and listen to Pastor Carlo as he preached the word. We've all heard the story of Timothy. Paul's protege, partner in the ministry, and friend. Though a young believer, the Bible tells us a great deal about him. Timothy followed the Apostle Paul all around the world to preach the gospel. He even showed young people what it looked like to follow God. But did you know who was behind the scenes that God used to help Timothy be the kind of person he grew up to be? Paul's letter to Timothy in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 5 says, I am reminded of your sincere faith that was first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now I am sure is in you as well. Paul was once in the city of Lystra when he met Timothy's mother and grandmother. These two women taught Timothy all about God. He was taught the Holy Scripture from childhood. Lois, as a grandmother, was a great example for Timothy's passion and devotion to Jesus. Qualities such as only a loving grandmother could bestow upon her daughter and grandson. The faith of Lois had been handed down to Timothy in overflowing measure. She was one of the women working behind the scenes, quietly doing kingdom work with sincere faith. Lois, a grandmother and Wonder Woman too. Hi everybody, I'm in San Francisco here by the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> uh, why don't we take a trip to different places and you might be shocked at where we can go. Whoa! I can stay here forever. Why don't we go to another place? Yay! Carnival time! Let's go! Ferris wheel, the octopus, all oh, the things I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna win that, that toy, I'm gonna play that game. Come oh, on, let's get that hot dog. Come oh, on, let's go, let's go. Whoa! I didn't need to go out to outer space. <sighs> okay, oh, we're back. We're okay, we're back on Earth, right? We're all right? What? What's wrong? As well, what's, what's going on? Something wrong with my hair? Ah! Whew. Hey, hey, hey. What a trip. 
trip. That was amazing in all the, the places where I was able to go, huh? But guess what? I'm sure some of you have figured it out. Those were just virtual backgrounds. In fact, I used this app from the computer. Here we go, here's my baby, here's my son. And they're just taking the, the picture of it. It's called the Zoom app, which can change your backgrounds as long as you have a white wall. Uh, it can change that color. So for me to be able to experience that, I had to rely on the work of other people. For instance, one who designed Zoom. And before, in uh, the one who designed film technology that allows you to replace one colored background, usually in film it's a green screen, and you can change it with any kind of uh, virtual background that you design. Uh, I relied on those people so that I could experience uh, an awesome, amazing trip through space and whatnot. Now, just like in our lives, the things that we go through are usually dependent on the work that other people have done. Things that other people have done for us. And in this next month, in our new series, our brand new series called Wonder Women 2, we're going to be talking about the mighty women of God who were working behind the scenes uh, in the lives of the mighty men and women that we know in the Bible, like Paul and Timothy and Peter, all those people. If you look in 2 Timothy chapter 1, we'll take a look at our first behind the scenes woman. We're talking about Timothy. Do you remember him? Paul, 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 the Apostle Paul, was going to let Timothy take care of his church. He knew he was going to die, and he didn't know who am I going to pass this to, and he passed it off to Timothy. And he took it so well and so amazingly, he rose to the challenge and took charge of the church. Now, how do you get that faith? Let's find out. In 2 Timothy 1, 5, it says, Paul is writing. Paul says, I'm reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now I'm sure dwells in you as well. Wow, Lord, would you bless the preaching of your word. Open our hearts to, him, to it. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, the first thing it's telling us is this. Real faith, true faith, sincere faith can be seen by others. Let's read it again. I am reminded when I look at you, the things that you do, Paul is saying, I am reminded of your sincere faith. People see it. It's not just something we say, I have faith in God, let's trust God. But more than the things we say, the things that we do can show people that. It kind of reminds me of that video that's viral right now. Have you ever seen that video where a dog is really strutting and He's, he's acting brave and really powerful and strong. He's going, rawr, rawr, and, rawr, rawr. and then when the cat comes along, this little bitty cat comes along, he goes, wah, wah, wah. the dog suddenly turns around and goes, <laughs> have you seen that video? Well, did the dog have true courage? Was it in all his acting up? Was that what real courage looked like? No, it's when the enemy comes, when the problem comes, just like right now. My question is, do you have true faith? Do you really trust in God? Now where there's none of your friends who can reach out to you when, you're, when your parents are having problems right now, do you still trust in God? So true faith can be seen by others. Number two, the faith that can be seen by others, well, that faith can be shared to others as well. People, more than any kind of virus, faith can infect other people. 2 Timothy 1. I'm reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and now, I'm sure, dwells in you as well. Guess what? Did you know that Timothy's dad was not a believer of God? Yes! What? Pastor, how do you get to know about God? Well, it was from her mother Eunice. And who taught her mother Eunice? It was his grandmother Lois. As Lois passed down her love for God to her daughter Eunice, both of them teaching Timothy, and that's how he grew up to be a man of faith. Now, during this time, I'm excited that you guys are gonna get to know God in a deeper way. And when, and when the world sees the kind of faith you have, because during this lockdown, you've got to know God deeper, they'll see it and most probably you'll even share it to them. And the amazing life and story that you're going to have, this is going to be your time, believe me. It doesn't matter what you're feeling right now or, or what situation you're in or what trouble you're in. Are you feeling down? Well, you turn to God, follow God. No, turn to your parents. Look at your mom, 
maybe look even at your grandmother and copy that faith, get that faith and pass it on to others. And so you're gonna really live out our power truth which says, I can help others follow God. Yeah, could you say that with me? I can help others follow God. And now we're gonna dance a really cool power verse. It's just found in Hebrews chapter 13, verse seven, which says, remember your teachers, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Let's go dance the song. All right, let's go. example of a young person changing the world for God. Guess what? God's chosen you, yes you watching now, no matter where you are, no matter what your condition, He's chosen you to be the same. Your life is going to be an amazing story about God. What we need to do is be reminded that the same God who took care of your grandmother, who took care of your mother and your parents who are taking care of them now, is the same God you can trust. Because Jesus died not just for all of us and rose again, not just for, for your parents, for your mom and dad and grandmother, but also died and rose again for you. So can I pray for you? If you want to be used by God, let's thank the people who are behind the scenes in our lives. Can you everybody think about their grandmother now? Or think about the people and teachers, the people who spoke to you, who who help you come closer and get to know God, close your eyes, think about them, picture them, and please pray this. Lord, thank you for all my family. Yes, my grandmother, my mother, my dad, my friends, all my teachers, everyone who taught me about God. Lord, bless them. Bless them and let them know how much you were pleased with what they did for me. And I pray, Lord, give me Open up your hands. Give me the grace and power to share that same faith to my other friends, to my other family. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm so excited for what's going to happen to you after this lockdown, even now. So God bless you all. Bye. Thank you for that encouraging word, Pastor Carlo. Timothy's grandmother, Lois, was a great example for Timothy. Her teachings and sincere faith had greatly influenced Timothy. And this is something that has blessed generations after her. In the same way, 
Just like Timothy's grandmother, we are called to pass the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people around us. And that's it. But before we go, we notice that we get viewers from different places. Comment down below on which city or country you're from, and we'll do a shout out next episode. Alright, so next time, bye! Thank you.